Once upon a time, in a cosy cottage deep in the forest, lived three bears. Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear. One morning they made porridge for breakfast, but it was too hot to eat. So they decided to take a walk while it cooled down. Not far from the cottage, a curious little girl named Goldilocks was wandering through the forest. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating an AI animated version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, ensuring all the characters remain consistent throughout. And the best part? We'll be using three free AI tools to make it happen. So, let's dive right in. Now go to ChatGPT and in the prompt section paste this particular prompt. I want to create an AI animated story about give your story. Please give me a script with narrations and prompt to generate images of related scenes. The prompt should be well detailed and simple. Also add the style whatever is your style and at the end of each prompt. right? So now I will be pasting my story. For me, my story is about three bears and Goldilocks. Goldilocks and three bear. Okay. And here in style section, I will add whimsical Pixar 3D, Disney Pixar 3D style. But you should add whimsical this word. Otherwise, it will look like you are trying to imitate the Disney Pixar 3D style which is again not permitted. After you give this prompt and fill the blanks, just go to send message option and wait for a while. Right? Now, next step is to create the characters. Go to explore GPT option and here you will have to search for Gliva tree consistent character okay this extension and select it right once you select it it will come like this and the chat prompt will open so since i have used it before it has appeared in the left hand side widget so i'll simply go to gliva tree consistent character option now here you will have to paste this prompt here you will have to give this prompt please you'll have to give this prompt first as per the character Please give me a detailed character description of Goldilocks in the story named Goldilocks and Three Bears. And just go to this option. Now like this I will have to create the characteristic of Three Bears as well. Okay, now we have got all these three character descriptions. Now what all I need to do is wherever Goldilocks is appearing in the image prompt, I will have to just add this part. Instead of only Goldilocks, I will have to apply this part. So like this, you will have to create all the prompts. And now let's move forward to create the images to the second part. Before we move forward, friends, I have one small request for you. I have given myself a target of 2000 likes and 500 comments. So please do contribute your valuable opinion in the comment section and please smash the like button. Your support helps me to thrive every single day. With that, let's move forward to the next part. Now we are going to use a free resource, uh, free software, which is Piclumen AI. I have created a complete detailed course on this. If you can watch that video, that video will be given in the I button, top right hand side corner, as well as in the description. So once you open Piclumen AI, you can go for this generate for free option and now they will ask you to log in so let me sign in once you sign in this is the interface now go to create option here you'll have to paste the first image prompt you can keep this prompt enhancement option on you can came in you can create up till four images i will create two here you will have to change the respect ratio i'll take 16 is to 9 and here you'll have to take the best model so i would suggest you to go for flux i channel model and after all this, go to this generate button. So like this, you'll have to create all the images for all scenes. Here also further, you can change, you can remix it or you can remove background. But I'm quite satisfied with this. So I will simply go and download it. 
So now let us move forward to the next step. Now since our images are ready, now let us go to the third option where we are using Hello AI. This is basically a product of Minimax AI where you can create unlimited videos from images for first three days. But after that, it will be reduced to 100 credits that will kind of accommodate three, three videos per day. But I feel that considering other available free options, this particular AI tool gives a very satisfactory result and they are giving some certain level of free use credits as well. So with that, go to the link given in the description and just go to this create video option. So you see, I have created a new account. So I have got three days unlimited free trial. Now, one drawback of this software is it takes almost five to eight minutes time for generating one video, right? So now with that being said, we'll have to go to this upload section and we'll have to upload the images. We are taking this first image and open. Now I'll have to give a short prompt here. Now here, I have given a short prompt. Basically, you need to mention what exactly you want to be seen in the animation. I've given three bears are walking towards camera with smiling faces. That's enough. And I've just uploaded the image and go to generate. And remember, you will have to keep this enhanced doggle always on. By default, it will remain on. And once the video is getting generated, you, you will find that video in mine section. Now here you can give three jobs in a queue as because I told you it takes a longer time. So let's move forward to uh, give the second image. So instead of this image, I will be picking the second scene, which is this one. Open, go to upload, select the scene and open. It will appear here. Then again, you'll have to give a small prompt. The small prompt I have given a little girl in is peeping through the door with smiling face, a camera. The camera is slowly moving and then go to generate option. So like this, you'll have to create all the videos from the images. So I'll just fast forward this. And finally, I'll be showing you how to assimilate them all together and create the final video. So you can see how nicely they have generated this image. If you like this, then you have to go to this download button in order to download. So like this, you will have to generate the video for all the images. So now since our image and video all are ready, now this is time we should be going forward to create the narration. For this, we will go to the third software, which is again a free software, 11 labs. Now from the prompt section, you'll have to copy only the narration part. I advise you to go for two narrations at a time. Then from here, you will have to choose your voiceover artist. So I would like to go for analyze this voiceover and go to generate speech. Once the voiceover is ready, go to this bottom right hand side corner download button and download the audio. Like this, you'll have to create the complete story voiceover. Now, this is a time when we should be creating the final video. I am using Wondershare Filmora, but you can use Cop CapCut Pro as well. Go to new project, upload all the files, audio and visuals, bring the audio files one after another and make sure the volume is maximized. After this, according to the scenes, you'll have to bring the video. So filter it by video and you will get all the videos ready. So. First, scene by scene, you will have to add the videos. If you feel that the scene is still continuing, then in that case, there are two ways. You can just reduce the speed by selecting this and then go to speed and just reduce it to a certain extent so that it covers the entire scene. Okay, then you will have to bring one by one all the videos. Like this, you will have to bring all the videos one by one. Once the videos are ready, then you will have to go for, you'll have to right click on the audio and go to this speech to text option. 
here you will have to select entire timeline and ok now they will generate the CC or subtitle for your video which happens to be most important element for kids video or storytelling video now you will have to double click on the sky blue option and then here you will have to select any of these boxes now from here you will have to take a funny font I will be taking comic sang font so and then from here from the preset take a nice preset so that the they look good you can also go for word art and you can choose a nice big thick font and make it bold and just a little bit of bigger size I recommend to go for 32 size so this sort of uh, this sort of a thick font would look good and then if you want to do further customization maybe in the words and so you can change it here you can come downwards and you can give a line um, outline you can change any of the colors of the outline now finally animation go to animation in in animation just take any of these typewriter animation like this so that they look good or maybe this one so I would like to go for this typewriter 2 animation and then once this is uh, ok then you go to apply to all so that this gets applied to all the scenes and then save it then finally once you are satisfied with the entire story go to this export button on the top left hand side right hand side corner and just give a name select the directory keep higher resolution selected and export the final video and this is the final result and if you want to know different models, different AI tools, please do visit www.wagpaymedia.in where we have created a comprehensive course for you all which is getting an early bird offer as well at this moment. So guys if you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please consider to give me a like. One small request please do share my content with your friends and family so that I can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all. Thank you so very much for staying here with me. I'll come back with some fun tutorial next week. Till then stay safe and stay legendary.